Hello again, this is Aaron Kadju. I am one of the co-directors of The Highway Murders, the documentary film series in the works about the unsolved New Bedford Highway Murders of 1988. This is the second in a series of vlogs that we have released as our project heads towards the finish line. And today we are looking to learn a little bit more about the special grand jury that was impaneled during the time of the Highway Murders investigation. By February of 1989, the skeletal remains of six women had been found on the highways leading in and out of New Bedford, and a number of women still remained missing. Also at that time, two individuals had been publicly outed as suspects in the highway murders case, including New Bedford handyman Neil Anderson and New Bedford attorney Kenneth Pont. But by mid-February, the district attorney's office and law enforcement was looking to learn as much as they could about the suspects that they already had and hopefully generate information that could lead to additional suspects in the case. So on Valentine's Day, District Attorney Ronald Pina had announced that he planned to impanel a special grand jury to hear testimony in the highway murders case. The idea for the uh, special grand jury came from Ron Pina. His thinking at the time was you know, we have uh, many people who are involved in the drug culture. Their memories now are as sharp as they are ever going to be. And they could die at any moment from an overdose, from AIDS. So he wanted to get all of their testimony on record for the future. And it was an investigative grand jury, sort of prodding people, forcing them to testify. I don't anticipate uh, any indictments coming out of it. I, I plan on using it as an investigative grand jury. By March of 1989, the special grand jury was already in session and hearing testimony from a number of witnesses. Now, special grand juries are a little bit different from regular grand juries. Special grand juries are usually impaneled to hear testimony in cases involving organized crime or government corruption. But in this case, they were impaneled to hear testimony in the hopes of uh, coming up with a viable defendant in the highway murders case. Special grand juries are also different in that they can be impaneled for a lengthy period of time. And in the case of the New Bedford Highway murders, the special grand jury was impaneled off and on over a period of almost a year and a half, culminating with a controversial decision which was handed down in the summer of 1990. In the almost 30 years since the special grand jury was relieved of their duty, very few of the 23 jurors have ever gone public about their experience or talked about what was said behind closed doors. There were a few special grand jurors that had some brief quotes in Maureen Boyle's book, Shallow Graves, that was released in 2017. And we, through our project, were lucky enough to speak to a member of the special grand jury as well, and he had some very interesting things to say about the experience. But there were 23 jurors and even though it was 30 years ago it's very unlikely that the rest of them have passed on and we are very interested in hearing from additional members of the special grand jury we would love to hear what your experience was like we would like to hear more about what was said behind closed doors one important thing to remember is that once jurors are relieved of their duty they are free to speak to the press and they are not obligated by any kind of uh, gag order after that point. So we would welcome anybody to come forward and tell their story. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that there was a grand jury separate from the special grand jury that in the spring of 1990 handed down an indictment charging suspect Kenneth Pont with drug conspiracy charges. Now, that grand jury was separate from the special grand jury, and while it would be interesting to hear from those people as well, and we do welcome that, we are really particularly interested in hearing from people that actually served on the highway murder special grand jury that was impaneled from the spring of 1989 until the summer of 1990. So if you or anybody that you know served on the highway murder special grand jury, we would love to hear from you. Our website, you can email us through our website, which is www.highwaymurders.com, or you can call our hotline at at 1-508-505-INFO. That's 1-508-505-INFO. Thank you very much for your time, and we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.